Hello everyone. I would like to introduce chapter 10, which was co-authored by Dr. Nobuko Kayashima and myself, Miki Sugimura. This chapter discusses how Japan's ODA scholarship program for international students has changed over the years. The program is broadly divided into the Japanese Government Scholarship Program and JICA Scholarship Program. The historical tradition of Japan's ODA Scholarship Program can be divided into three main periods. The first phase was from the 1950s to 1982. In this period, the Japanese government scholarship program was the main scholarship, which started soon after the World War II. However, in the second phase from 1983 to 2003, it diversified with the start of the JICA scholarship program in 1988. And in the third phase from 2004, the program has been implemented in connection with policies to promote the internationalization of universities, as well as making an intellectual contribution to the international community. In this transition process, the program initially aimed to promote friendship with opposing countries, centering on ASEAN countries, against the backdrop of Japan's post-war reconstruction and contribution to the international community. After the 1980s, the objective was changed to focus on increasing the number of international students. In the 2010s, students from East Asian countries decreased and accounted the only 20% of all ODA funded students, declining from its peak of 40%. A new trend has been emerging since 2015 in which the number of South Asian and African students has been increasing. With the decline in ODA disbursement since 2000, the program has been strategically carried out as an assistance policy to promote specific policy agendas and target areas, and to provide humanitarian assistance. This historical analysis reveals that the program was initially intended to promote and assist the human resource development in developing countries. This orientation gradually shifted to intellectual contribution, showcasing Japan's increasing role in the international community. Currently, the program's function as a form of strategic assistance reflecting Japan's national interest to recruit highly competent human resources as well as internationalization of the society. We hope you will find this chapter of interest.